Listen, you want me to run that again? No, we don't got to run it. I go. <laughs> I just want you to speak up a little bit. Right, is he, is he, uh, yeah, let's speak up. Yeah, so what's next? We doing hey, with uh, your dick, Mikey. Oh, yeah, just run it. <laughs> what she, say? she says, um, You know what she said. I think I can't say it. I can't repeat it. Disco was a disposable genre. Was New Jack Swing also disposable? I don't know why I made this a topic. Who but, the fuck um, said that? Dis 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 Disco was disposable? Yeah. I did. What? What you talking about, Willis? And yeah. I love disco, and I respect it. But that Hip -hop shit starts with the disco sample. Uh, does it start with the disco sample? Or does it start don't, with drums? Don't, 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 don't. It's the bass line. It's fucking shit. Okay, well, so when the last pause did they think? Where was R B at when the last pause was spit? Rich, are you doing spice taxes over there? I said a hit. Hop, a hit, a hip into the hip, hip, hop, and you don't stop the rock. That's disco. <laughs> That's disco. Okay, technically, right? Okay. But oh, yeah, I, I disagree with you, Mike. I do not think, I mean, okay. as a DJ, have you ever been to a fucking wedding? Listen, let me say this. Disco, <laughs> to me, the way they did it, the way that they they had they had this big ass stadium concert where they brought out these monster trucks or something and they rolled over all the disco records and blew the disco shit. Do you remember this Mikey back in the day? Disco sucks. Disco sucks. Disco sucks. You ever uh, seen that? That's how important a fucking genre is. I was gonna say to because it. yes, the whole disco is. And it was some racism. It was some racism that. involved. Well, and trying to get rid of disco. It was some racism. Well, the race in the games. What disco was doing for black people. It was a feel good music. You dig what I'm saying? When yes. you was dancing, when you was trying to get into them clubs back then, you wanted to be fresh and fly, Studio 54 and all that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, nah, these black people are becoming more confident in themselves. They're starting to figure out how to make money, trying to get educated and shit. We can't let this shit go on because the music dictates the overall, like, Awesome. Fucking all the white bitches, wasn't you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are the white women at? Yo, yo, listen. They, they, just like they when they shut down hip hop, they try to shut down hip hop. They, they yeah. shut down disco. But in yeah. the '80s, right? When you move from the '80s and into the '90s, it was this whole thing that was like, oh, disco. Like if you even so, you would take a flock of seagulls over. I would take Pet Shop Boys over fucking Casey and the Sunshine Band, right? But I wouldn't take none of them shits over Down the Summer. Queen! Shout out to Giorgio Moroder. Queen. Don't know who that is, but yeah. The producer. All right. Respect. Down the Summer. Yeah. Man, this go flat the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah there's, there's, there's too many... BGs. BGs was doing their thing. I love me some BGs now. See, and I could do without the BGs, understand. but they're still BGs. pinnacles in fucking potty music and shit like that. Still, go to a cookout Please. and remove you, all disco. You in LA? I'm on the East Coast. If we was together. I probably would slap you on your neck. Don't ever talk bad about the BGs. I just, I'm not. I'm just. I mean, she says she talk bad about the BGs, dudes. No, I'm just saying I could do without them, but not at a party if I'm playing the shit. I still wouldn't. I still one of my favorite. You can't call it disposable. We wouldn't have so many classics. Okay, so let's say it's not disposable then. So let's talk about New Jack Swing. Is New Jack Swing more enduring of a genre than disco? Listen, I got a list. I'm going in. Bobby really? Brown. Jack. Bobby Brown. Well, let's let's start with the architect, Teddy Riley, right? Right. So, no, Bobby no. Brown. Jimmy Jam. Rex in effect. Oh, Put yeah. on. I'll be sure. Johnny Kemp. Keith Sweat, Johnny Kim, Guy, Today, Tony, 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 BBD. Did we say Johnny Gill yet? Boys to Men, Heavy D, Father MC. Did we say Redhead Kingpin already? Um, High Five, Jade, TLC, Montel Jordan. This is Montel Jordan. This is how we do it. They say was the last New Jack Swing hit. Okay, and then Bruno Mars brought it back. What about wait? Return of the Mac was that after? I don't know. But Bruno, no, you forgot Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, bro. What? What you talk about? I said you forgot Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Yeah, Jimmy they, Jam and Terry Lewis don't really do New Jack Swing for real. They, they that's the start of it. But then, oh, but wait, then if you're gonna no. do that, then you have to 
you shout out the Avila brothers too, then. You got to shout out the Avila brothers because they go all the way back with Shaq and Usher. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody talking over each other right now. He said something crazy. He said, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis did not create New Jack Swing. That is all. We got to say that they created it. I say no, you they say they up it. there. They some pioneers in it. No, no, listen. Teddy Riley invented New Jack Swing. Period. 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 No, I'm not argue. We put didn't a, argue that. Put a dot on that. That's I didn't Teddy argue Riley. that. When you listen to Guy's first album, this is mm -hmm. the coming out party for New Jack Swing, like on steroids. Like, you want to know what New Jack Swing is? Here go this Guy album. Boom. Right? And then Bruno Mars, when he came back with um, Cardi was B. It up, was it the Uptown Finesse. show? Finesse. Yeah. Finesse. When they did redid the video, like uh, Living Color, mm -hmm. that is a New Jack Swing song. They just recreated the sound. So New Jack Swing starts, I want to say like 80, don't, don't give me a line, like what, 87, 88, something like that, right? Their sound comes into prominence. It takes over, and it, it lasts all the way up until Bruno Mars redoing Finesse, which became a big-ass fucking hit. So which one is the more enduring of the genres, New Jack Swing? Or disco, it's still New Jack Swing. Still younger, because disco also had a resurgence. That's what Daft Punk was doing. Hey, I like that. I like that take. That Daft Punk, though, yeah, I like them too. And they brought Mikey, back Mikey. Mikey, Mikey shaking his head. Mikey, you think Daft Punk is disco? You think they brought it back? I think so. Okay, that's a good point. Yeah, that that last album they did, the Random Acts. That's it's now Rogers from Sheep. Is Giorgio Moroder? Like those are all the original disco dudes. The way that no, I'll say that for now. Mikey, what's your favorite disco song? I don't know that I have a Nigga, favorite. You better have taste when I ask you. Something. <laughs> I think he dropped my favorite disco song. What? Which one was it? The one that I don't know. The, the name one that of. you don't remember this. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever the fuck he said. <laughs> um, my I, for me, um, "Radio" by Donna Summer. Oh my Shut god. Up. How she start that joint off and then it just take off. Oh my God. Her voice is so rich and powerful. I had a crush on her. She was married to a German dude. Is that right? Georgia. The black dudes couldn't, they they was they was doing her wrong. She had to give it to German dude. I mean, that's Georgia. Georgia was a German. And she stayed with him forever, right? Something like that. Is Donna Summer still alive? She rest in peace, right? Who knows? Can you you got a phone, Mikey? Can you Google this? I'm sorry, Donna. Nah, she passed in 2012. She, hey. she... Oh. Nah, nah, she lived an amazing life. Like she was, she she was so good. 2012, <laughs> 10 years ago. Respect to the queen of disco. Everybody put your lighters up for, for Donna Summer in the comment section. Oh, now we're moving on to, I don't know. That was one. I'm moving on to the next one. Um, uh, Mikey, mm -hmm. what's next? Danny Brown sexually assaulted. Okay, listen. Here we go. My notes is all messed up right now. Hold up. Danny Brown sexually assaulted. Y'all hear about this? Watch this. You know Danny Brown, Detroit, right? Shout to the D. Pause. Um, <laughs> Danny Brown claims Ninja. Some guy named Ninja. One half of the controversial South Africa hip-hop duo Die Anterward. Fuck it. Sexually assaulted him at a party in Paris. He said Ninja sat on his lap and forcibly kissed him on the neck. The incident left Brown shell-shocked and freaked out. He says, this is a quote from Danny Brown. Oh, the nigga was sitting on my lap trying to make out with me. What? And it freaked me out. Danny said dude wanted a threesome with him and dude's girl, right? I was single. This is Danny quoting. I was single experiment. I was a single experimenting man at the time, but he was too aggressive. Listen, if you're bi, if you're gay, it's not my business. I don't care. But what he's saying is, he's saying he was experimenting. And then this dude, if I had a picture of this dude, man, look, I'm going to put it on the screen. I don't know what I am, but yeah. This dude got a, he got a crazy, he got a mullet. This guy got a mullet, right? That's what really happened. <laughs> and he sat on my lap and started trying to kiss me and shit and doing weird shit. I'm like, man, you tripping. Then everybody looking at me like, somebody fuck. Yeah. Danny Brown is in a club in Paris. He got this dude sitting on his lap, kissing him on his neck, almost trying to rape him. And then everybody around looking at him and say, somebody fuck, right? And then, <laughs> look, Danny Brown claimed Ninja then promised to find which hotel he was staying at. Ninja's creepy behavior left him so stressed out 
the Bruiser Brigade rapper began drinking heavily in anticipation of fighting or worse, stabbing him. Because I'm like, I might have to stab this nigga tonight. Because if this nigga ah! knocks on my hotel room door, bro, it's going to be a big deal. Wait, why did he ask him where his hotel was then? No, no, no. So the other guy is asking Danny, where you staying at? Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. That's what he, he asking said, Danny. I'll find you. So that's implying that he's going to take him up on his offer. It sounds like Danny might have been a little confused about what he wanted. Danny <laughs> is saying that he was sexually assaulted by this man. Listen, I, I enjoy this show. <laughs> I want to keep this show. So I'm going to just stay out the way for this. I mean, you already talked about <laughs> earlier. <laughs> and now so have you. But that listen, the, the, the last thing we need is is, is the is, is the the mafia. The mafia. The mafia right. fucking with us. The alphabet. I'm gonna put you like this. I re respect what y'all doing. Listen, I don't rock like that. That's it on my lap. Listen, I'm bisexual. Ball game. Listen. I just I think when it comes to men, it's different. So for a man to claim sexual assault. I guess it would be kind of sexist for me to just brush it off if he feels like he was assaulted. But where was the assault? From sitting on his lap and, and, and this, this aggressively sounds kissing like you got neck. beat up by a five year old. And you Remove didn't push him from your lap right, and right. say you ain't feeling it, bro. Because right. it sounds like right. you didn't fight it off. And you asking about hotels and all this other shit. You, it sounds to me like you weren't making it very clear. It sounds Listen, to me like I mean, you may have I been I can only speak from a, a, from a straight man's point of view. If a motherfucker hop in my lap and try to kiss me, I'm going to push him off me and kick him in his cranium. I like that. You dig I what like I'm saying? That. Because I'm not, I'm, I didn't ask for that. Like, I, right, if, if you don't have a rape whistle, right? Like, by all means. Hurt, hurt. What if it's somebody that's stronger than you? Whoa. Like, like, if, if, I mean, first of all, from the moment a motherfucker try to sit in your lap, like that, that, like. <laughs> There's things you can do. You can fucking move, man. Like you're not just gonna sit on me. Like, come on, man. The, the, the dude that, that was assaulting him, he looked like he might already have monkeypox. I'm just <laughs> just on looks alone. He looked like he might have monkeypox. You gotta I see this. Like, yeah, and he got and and so Danny Brown almost got turned movie. out. He he almost got turned out by a South African dude with a mullet. You know what I mean? This really like <laughs> and admitted it. Admitted it, like, oh. like once, right? He I said, mean, here's the thing, because he already first already admitted early in the story that he was experimenting. Whoa, whoa, that's, whoa, 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 well, that's man. my that's my thing, though. If you were experimenting to me, you at one point in time implied you that you may no enjoy way. something like that. And I'm saying, if you got a big ass man thing. sitting on your lap, how does he have access to your neck? Unless hold he's on, no. hold on, no, because that hold on, two things. One. Whether Danny Brown is gay by experiment, and I don't give nobody permission to violate his face. No, right? no, I'm just saying. Well, I didn't, I didn't say that. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm and just saying. grabbing and kissing on her. A lot of times you are shot, first and foremost, because your defenses is down. You out with a party, you drinking. Next thing you know, some unexpected shit happened. Like, like, I'm also just going by how I know when women are in similar situations and there's somebody bigger than them, stronger than them. I mean, get me. Man. I don't care if somebody's stronger. I'm going to make it clear that I don't want you kissing on my motherfucking neck or sitting on my lap. You need to have a talk with Terry Crews because Terry Crews has experience with being sexually assaulted, right? So they need to form a support group of black men. Why did I do quote fingers when I said Why black? did you do that? Why are you being sarcastic? I don't know why I did that. When Every time I think of Terry Crews. <laughs> okay, let's say, let's, say, let's say Thanos come in here right now, right? Yeah, let's say Thanos coming here and he like, I want, I want you. I'm gonna do it to you. Talking to me, right? That's what you gonna say. Listen, and, and he locked the door. Ain't no way for me to get out, nigga. You're not getting no ass, nigga. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a murder. We going to the mat about this shit. No, ass, no, 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 we're not doing none of that. No, we're not doing none of that. You, it's no, a, no, you, no, it's no, a murder. Right. Do what you, you will with the, the fucking corpse. But it, but I'm breathing. Hold on, hold on. That's not what happened. Come on, you sitting in the bar, you drinking, you having a good time. You're not looking. Next thing you know, Thanos is on your lap. Like, your, your head was turned. Thanos in your lap. You turn around. What the fuck? Go. Whatever physical shit that he has to do in order to bring me under control, <laughs> it's got to escalate all the way to a murder. Because it's never going to be comfortable enough for this nigga to do nothing that he want to do to me. He ain't going to be able to massage my balls. He ain't going to be able to kiss my neck, blow on my ear. All these things that he's trying to do is going to take a murder to accomplish.
You know what no, I mean? He's, but he's on you. Like, he's sitting on your lap. It's Thanos. He's on your lap. And before before you can... Because this is all Danny Brown is saying, is that before I could even start to push him off me, he's on my lap, whispering in my ear, I don't like that shit. That's a song. Listen, that shit, should have, that shit should have instantly rolled to the floor immediately. As soon as the dick sat on my lap, boom, <laughs> now we on the ground, we ground and pound it. Pause! I'm just saying. Whole different kind of ground and pound. Ah! Ah! The ultimate pause right here. The worst fucking descriptions ever, B. Bad time. Does anybody like that shit? We should have been on the ground rolling around pounding what? I don't give a fuck how, like, you ain't just gonna land in my lap and it's gonna be a place you can fucking stay. Cause you got ex- that's what I'm saying. You got, ex- how somebody you got exposed you know? eyeballs. Your whole throat is open. I'm gonna fucking hurt you before you before you get off. Me. You're gonna be hurt too on the way out. And, and French is from Harlem, but he's strong like a country motherfucker. I don't know how he does it, but that nigga, that's a strong motherfucker. You don't want to sit on that nigga lap. Oh, that's the last nigga lap you want to sit on. What the fuck was popping is your boy Mike Powers. Mike Powers.